Most typical applications will have more than just one form. For example, if your business program requires the user to first log on, you'll probably want to challenge them for a valid username and password before showing them, or giving them access to, the main form. Or, perhaps your application must make slow database connections when it's first starting up. So you'll want to display a splash screen or an animation to assure the user the application is still working. When the connections are made, the main form appears. Swapping forms in and out of both memory and the screen is considered form management. In this demonstration, we'll swap between two forms. One way to load a form is with the load command. It instructs Visual Basic to read a form from the hard drive and load it into memory. Keep in mind, though, that the form will not be presented to the user until the show method is used. The show method displays a form, but note that we can use the show method without first loading the form. If the form is not yet in memory, as our second form is not at this time, Visual Basic will automatically load the form into memory before displaying it. We say that a show has an implied load, so we don't need to enter both lines of code. When we issue a show method, we have the choice of displaying it modally or modeless. A modal form is one the user must contend with before they can interact with other forms in the application. This is useful for dialog boxes or message boxes that require information from the user before proceeding. However, since modal forms stop the application from continuing until they're cleared, they should be used sparingly. We'll make this form modal so you can see what I mean. Now, when the second form is shown to the user, we want to give them a way to get back to the first. That's simple. We can do that by entering, in the click event for command hide, the code to hide form 2. Now, when we run the application and click the command button, the second form is displayed. Notice that, with the second form displayed, we cannot click the first form. The second form is considered modal, so we must first contend with it. OK, let's change the show method from modal to modeless and run the application again to see the difference. This time, when we load the second form, we can easily switch between either form. A form still uses memory, even when it's hidden, but having it handy can improve the performance of an application. So you might choose to keep some forms hidden, but when a form is no longer required, you want to be sure and issue an unload to free its memory. So there are four basic commands to managing forms. Show, load, hide, and unload. Using the show method on a form that is not currently in memory, we'll load it. A form that we want to disappear but still be around for a quick callback, can be hidden with the hide method. Unloading a form will remove it from the screen and remove it from memory. And one other thing, when the last form is removed from memory via an unload, the application will terminate.